Kilo Echo 5, Radio Radio Yankee, good morning, year 5757, my name is Tony, Tony it's my name, over over. Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. In this video we're going to take a look at this. Now this is the RX888 Mark II SDR receiver that covers from 1 kilohertz up to 64 megahertz on the H port and then 64 megahertz right up to 1.7 gigahertz on the V port. Of course, with any SDR receiver, you need a computer as well as an antenna. We'll talk more about compatible SDR applications later on in the video. What's really noticeable on the RX888 Mark II is the huge heat sinks that we find on either side and on the underside. Dissipating heat from an SDR which is used constantly is extremely important as heat can affect frequency stability if not using something like a GPSDO. Now I'm pretty sure these heat sinks are sufficient considering the size and the quantity of them. The antenna ports are SMA females which are labelled as V and H. On the other side of the RX888 Mark II we find an interesting USB socket. Now this is a USB 3 Type B. There's also a small little hole next to this socket which when powered on you'll see a little LED illuminate. Now before we hook it up to the computer, let's take a look at the specifications and why I think this is a great SDR receiver to invest in. So the RX888 and RX888 Mark II are based on the BBRF103 HF only receiver SDR from Oscar IK1 XPV from Italy. Now Justin Peng, a Chinese enthusiast, designed the hardware of the RX888 and the RX888 Mark II. Now Justin is also the guy behind the Pluto Plus that I featured in a video a while back. So firstly, the RX888 Mark II has a 16-bit ADC at 130 MSPS, meaning a higher dynamic range than a lot of the cheaper SDRs. As shown previously, it has dual inputs, one for HF and the other for VHF, upwards past UHF and beyond. A real-time bandwidth of a staggering 64 MHz on HF and 10 MHz on VHF. And the Mark II sees an adjustable attenuator with a range of minus 32 dB up to 0 dB and a VGA as opposed to an LNA in the Mark I with a range of minus 11 dB up to plus 34 dB. Although not accessible when the case is on, there is actually a 27 MHz reference clock input on the main board. So great if you have something like a Lear Bodner GPSDO. Now I'll show you that connector shortly when we take the lid off. A bias T of 3.3 volts is available on the HF and VHF port. So that's great if you want to power some external LNAs or active antennas. Compatible software that's available is HDSDR, SDR Console, SDR Sharp, and of course the excellent SDR++. Of course with SDR++ it's multi-platform, so great for all you Linux bots out there, including me. An EXTIO DLL is available for when using this application with like SDR Sharp and HDSDR. Now when using the SDR console, you can use the Cypress FX3 USB bootloader device driver for Windows. That's a bit of a tongue twister. Now we'll look at that shortly and I'll show you how to install it. Now if you have the original RX888 Mark I, then the Mark II has these follow enhancements. The LNA has been changed to a VGA for better attenuation control. An enhanced 64 MHz low pass filter has been implemented, which greatly improves image rejection, especially from those out of band strong signals. The RX888 Mark II uses the R828D tuner chip, which is a newer generation of tuner chip rather than the standard R820Ts that we see a lot of in other cheaper SDRs. It also has a tunable attenuation in the HF path of up to minus 31.5 dB. So the RX888 Mark II boards come as a black silk screen PCB. Now I don't know why, but I really do like the look of these types of boards. Now you will notice that little UFL SMT in the middle of the board. Now this is the external 27 MHz reference signal input that I was talking about earlier. The yellow jumper next to this allows the user to switch between internal or external reference clock. So if you're going to use this, then don't forget to make sure you change that jumper. So let's take a look at the RX888 Mark II connected up to my Windows computer and we're going to go with running SDR console. So we're going to need to install the driver. 
Now, if you plug the RX 888 Mark II into your Windows computer and see Westbridge under other devices within Device Manager, this means that the driver is not installed. So head to the driver download website and download the driver. I will link below in the video description. Once the driver archive has been downloaded, you now need to uncompress that file. So return to the device manager window, right mouse click on Westbridge entry and select update driver. Here you need to tell where the driver files are located. Now once located, the driver should install. Westbridge should disappear from the device manager window and a new entry titled Cypress FX3 should be visible. Now at this point, I restarted my computer just to make sure everything was loaded correctly. Now to get the best out of the RX 888 Mark II, I would recommend that you use a powered USB hub, which can provide ample power for the device. Now mine is rated at around two to three amps. I would also recommend that you ensure you are plugging the USB cable into a USB 3 socket on your computer. Now without doing these steps, it's likely your bandwidth will be limited or the device just won't work. Configuring SDR console is fairly easy. Just ensure the RX 888 Mark II is plugged into your computer. Then go ahead and create a new radio definition within SDR console. Search for the RX 888 and it should be automatically detected. If not, then just go back and check your USB cable. So let's go through some of the bands to see how well it receives. The antennas used for this test will be my inverted LN fed halfway for HF and a dual band collinear on the roof of the house for testing VHF and above. Just hung on hooks on the, on the fencing and the garden. So I hook it from there, take it up to the tripod, insert it, and uh, just push the, uh, the mast up. Papa Golf 00 Tango Contest. Papa Golf 00 Tango Contest. Delta Golf Sierra Bravo Sulu. Uh, Denmark, Germany, 4. Schuko, Baker, Sansibar, Roger. Roger, Delta Golf Sierra Bravo Sulu, 5991. Uh, 7991, have you verstanden? Uh, 5952. Delta, Hotel 1, Tango, Tango, contact. Delta, Hotel 1, Tango, Tango, contact. and enjoy your Sunday up there. Very beautiful day here. It's quite, it's quite hot, really, because we have 22 degrees at the moment, and uh, there's quite a few degrees uh, above the, the average uh, for this period, and uh, so it's a sunny day, very great uh, weather uh, for the moment. Okay, to you again, uh, Wyndon, good luck. Enjoy the band. Uh, Mike Whiskey Zero, Sierra, Sierra Bravo. From Italy, whiskey to Charlie Lima, Mexico. To you again. On a peu une, euh, un genre un peu débroussailleux, ça met en bout un truc, c'est avec un, y a, y a une, une bâtonne de. Lanka, five nine two six seven, Roger. Echo 29, uh, thank you, 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 thank thank you, 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 thank Delta X-ray, QRZ. 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 Delta X
I got five Charlie Sierra Kilo, your prefix. Exit Victoria calling CQ and bye for any call. Kilo Echo 5, Radio Radio Yankee, good morning, year 5757, my name is Tony, Tony it's my name, over over. if you made it to this point of the video then well done what you're looking at now on the screen is a 32 megahertz bandwidth from zero kilohertz up to 32 megahertz which i think is quite remarkable the specs of the rx 888 mark ii say 64 megahertz on hf but it appears str console only allows up to 32 megahertz I guess this would be amazing for CW skimming or monitoring the digital bands like FDA and Whisper on every single band at the same time. In conjunction with multiple receive windows and virtual audio cables, you could create a receiving station that covers the whole HF bands. Now there is a whole load of other tests that I can perform, especially in the top end of the specs at 1.5 gigahertz. Now this is something that I plan to do, especially to see how well it works at receiving in Marsat and Iridium. Maybe I'll create another video on this in the near future. If you'd like to purchase this SDR, then please use the links in the description for the best deals. And one last thing to mention before I end the video, and that's that I've uploaded two brand new t-shirt designs on my merch page. Now go check them out and let me know if you purchase one. Until the next video, guys, take care, stay safe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.